A jewellery designer wants to design a brooch consisting of two circular rings with radii 3cm and 5cm respectively, with a distance of 10cm between the centres. He wants to have a silver bar joining them which is tangential to each ring. If A is the distance between D and F, and B is the distance between F and E, show that A plus B is 2cm. Well, we can see that to find the distance between D and E, we take the distance between the centres, which is 10, and subtract off the two radii. Because line segments A and B lie on the line joining the centres of the two circles. Prove that triangles OAF and CBF are right angle triangles. Sorry, similar triangles. Well, actually, they're both right angle triangles, as we'll see. Now, let's look at the angles in these triangles. This angle equals this angle, because they're opposite angles. Now, we can use a theorem about tangents to deduce that this angle here is 90 degrees. So this triangle is a right angle triangle. The line joining the centre of a circle to the point of contact of a tangent to the circle is perpendicular to the tangent. And we have that situation with this triangle here also. We have the line from the centre of the circle to the point of contact of the tangent. It's perpendicular to the tangent. So we see that two angles are the same in both of these triangles. And if two angles are the same, then the third angle is the same, because the three angles add up to 180. So these two must be the same also. So both of these are similar triangles. So if you want to give these reasons, um, you can name the angles by referring to the points on the arms of the angles. That's what I've done here. Um, angle BFE is this angle here. Now if you want to, you could give it a name. You could probably call it capital A maybe. Not, well, it's not the same as this point here of course, but it's just for convenience you could just call this maybe angle A and this angle here, that's opposite angle A, is DFA. You can call it B if you like. So A equals B because they're opposite angles. Now, we have that OAF is 90 degrees. You can call it C. And CBF, CBF is the other right angle. We call it D, I suppose. State that they're both equal to 90 degrees. Why? Because it's a property of tangents. By equating the ratio of corresponding sides from similar triangles, find the values of A and B. Right, let's get the corresponding sides of these two triangles. Let's look at the sides opposite the 90 degree angles. So the side opposite the 90 degree angle in the small triangle is 3 plus A because the distance of O to D is the radius of this circle, which is 3, and we have to add on A, of course. Uh, the side opposite the right angle here is equal to the radius of this big circle, which is 5, plus this distance B, so it's 5 plus B. So here are a pair of corresponding sides. These are the sides that correspond to the 90 degree angle. Now we know that these two e angles are the same in both triangles. These are the opposite angles we saw earlier. Let's indicate them in blue now. So the sides corresponding to these angles are this side here in the big triangle, which is length 5, and this side here in the small triangle, which is length 3. These are the 5 and 3 are the radii of the two circles. So the ratios of the sides are, in, are the same the ratios of the corresponding sides are the same. So if I take, say, a side in the large triangle, this big one, say 5 plus B, and divide it by its corresponding side in the small triangle, 3 plus A, this ratio will be the same as the ratio of the two blue sides. So in the numerator here, we have a side from the big triangle. So in the numerator of this ratio, we want a side from the big triangle. So I have to put 5 here. I'll do it in blue, so we have 5 divided by 3. Now there are two unknowns in this equation, so we obviously can't solve this equation to find A and B, but we have another piece of information from uh, question 1. We know that A plus B equals 2. So 
You see, we now have two equations in two unknowns. We can solve between these two equations to find A and B. So I'll start by getting this equation into a straight line. So 3 times 5 plus B is 15 plus 3B, and we multiply 5 by 3 plus A, so that's 15 plus 5A. So we have a single fraction on each side, we can cross multiply. Now I can, I'll bring the 3B and 5A together to one side, and uh, well we get 0 here actually. I'll multiply this equation by 5, so we get 5a plus 5b equals 5 2 is 10, and combine it with this equation here. So I'll just write 5b under the 3b, and the plus 5a under the minus 5a, and 10 over here. So we get um, 5 and 3 is 8b equals 10. So b is 10 over 8 which is 5 over 4. Now we know that a plus b is 2, so that a is equal to 2 minus b. That's 2 minus 5 over 4. Uh, this is um, 2 is the same as 8 quarters. 8 quarters minus 5 quarters is 3 quarters. Next we want to find the distance between a and b, which is the length of the silver bar. So to find the length of this red line, we have to look at another pair of corresponding sides. Sides opposite this angle here. So these two angles are the same in both triangles because the triangles are similar. And we've already shown that the other two are equal. So the two remaining angles that I've indicated in red here must be equal to each other. So we take the sides that are opposite these red angles and look at the ratio of these sides. So I'll call this distance x and this distance y. Actually, we don't have to consider ratios. We can use Pythagoras' theorem now because we actually have two sides of each of these triangles, each of these right angle triangles. We know what a is, so we have this black this line here. It's just 3 plus a. a is 3 quarters, so we just add 3 quarters onto a to get 3 and 3 quarters or 3.75. We found that b is 5 quarters, so we have 5 plus 5 quarters. That's 6.25. So, applying Pythagoras' theorem to this large triangle, the square of the hypotenuse, 6.25 squared, equals 5 squared plus y squared, the sum of the squares of the two short sides. So if we want to find y, we rearrange like this. y then is the square root of the hypotenuse squared minus the other short side squared. This works out to 3.75. In this right angle triangle up here, um, the square of the hypotenuse, 3.75 squared, equals 3 squared plus x squared. If we rearrange that, we get x equals the square root of 3.75 squared minus 3 squared. That works out to 2.25. So now that we found x and y, we can get the distance between a and b, which is the length of the silver bar. So a, b is just the sum of these numbers. So 3 and 2 is 5. 0.75 plus 0.25 is 1. So we get 5 plus 1 is 6. That's in centimetres.